There are only three magnetic elements, iron, cobalt and nickel, and these are found here within the transition metals of the periodic table. Steel is an alloy and that is a mixture of iron and carbon. So because steel contains iron, it is magnetic, but because it's a mixture, you won't find it on the periodic table. Magnets have a north pole and a south pole. Opposite poles attract each other. So here we've got north and south next to each other, so they would be attracted to each other. Like poles repel each other. So with south next to south, you will see that the magnets repel each other. And similarly, north next to north, the magnets would repel each other. There are invisible magnetic field lines around a magnet that show the magnetic field. Magnetic field lines always point from north to south, shown by the arrows. The closer the field lines, the stronger the magnetic field. So you can see at the poles, these field lines here are very, very close to each other. So there's a strong magnetic field at the poles and slightly weaker as you go away from the magnet because the field lines are further apart. You can see the arrows here always going from north to south. So they're going in this direction at the bottom and the top, that's really important. And then they go out of the north and into the south. There are two ways that these magnetic field lines can be shown. Plotting compasses is one way. Here we've got several small compasses going around this bar magnet. And you can see here that the north is pointing towards the south at all times. If you were to extend these as lines, it would start looking a little bit like our magnetic field lines that we saw in our first image. And here, they always have to go out of the north and from north to south and into the south like so. So you can use these plotting compasses to show the magnetic field. Or you could put the bar magnet in a pile of iron filings and the iron filings would arrange themselves along the magnetic field line. So you can see here it looks very similar to our magnetic field line image in that we've got this arching shape going over the top and the bottom and then they're straightening out here like so. Interacting magnetic field lines show why opposite poles attract. So you've got two bar magnets here and where the bar magnets are coming together you will see their field lines interacting here and because field lines go from north to south you can see that we would have an attraction here between the opposite poles. With like poles, for example two north poles together, because the magnetic field lines are trying to go from north to south, here they will repel each other and these field lines are not touching as they're trying to seek the south pole which is all the way over here. So when you put two like poles together you will have a repulsion. As well as bar magnets, you can get other shapes like this U-shaped magnet. They too have a north and a south pole. You can use plotting compasses in the same way to determine the magnetic field lines. So if we were to extend these, for example, we might see the field lines going a little bit like this. Again, always going from north to south around the magnet like so, and they'd be pointing in towards south, a little bit like this, north to south, north to south, like so. The Earth has a magnetic field. It's like there is a big bar magnet inside the Earth, with the south pole of the bar magnet at geographic north, and the north pole of the bar magnet at geographic south. So there's not actually a big bar magnet within the Earth, but the Earth's magnetic field acts a little bit like there is. So the south pole of the bar magnet would actually be in our geographic north pole, and the north pole of the bar magnet 
would be at the southern tip of the Earth, at our geographic south pole. This is useful when navigating the planet. A compass has a light magnetic needle that will respond to the Earth's magnetic field. Because opposite poles attract, the north pole of the compass magnet points to the south pole of the Earth's magnet. Hence, a compass will always point to geographic north. So for example, if you were at this point on the Earth and you were stood here holding a compass, the compass needle would be pointing towards the magnetic south, but our geographic north. So when you're navigating and using a compass, we can always find the north pole of our planet because the north pole of the magnet is pointing towards the south pole of our invisible bar magnet within the Earth. And if you're on this side navigating with your compass, again the north pole of this very light compass needle would be seeking this south pole of our Earth's magnetic field. So by using a compass we can always find our geographic north. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.